All right, Harry Doyle here, just a bit outside from the movie Major League. One of my favorites, I watch it the week before baseball season starts every year. Every year, and at least once during the season. Absolute classic. Anyway, let's get into our workout today. Uh, just a bit outside because we're going outside and we're gonna be doing some running. Um, this one's gonna get really challenging. Um, there's no way around it because we're really gonna try to break down that core on you while we're doing this workout. So this is for time. We're gonna do two rounds. You're gonna do one round with all the work. You're gonna rest two minutes and then you're gonna repeat, okay? So that's our workout. So how's it going to start? We'll go out, we'll have our course laid out, take off, 200 meter run, okay? 200 meter run, you're gonna come back. We're immediately gonna get to ground and we're gonna go into 30 sit-ups, okay? So we're here. Feet are together, right? Hands are reaching behind my head, right? My chin, chest, that distance doesn't change. I'm lifting with my core, touching my feet so that way I know my shoulders make my hip crease every time. If that's too much, those feet can't go together. We can put them under some dumbbells. Uh, we can just keep them apart. Same thing though, if we're sitting up 30 reps, again, Shoulder meets the hip crease every time, finishing those reps off. Okay, pop up, 200 meter run. Down the track and up, back the track you come. When you get there, you're gonna have your trusty, your handy dandy dumbbells sitting there at the side. And we're gonna go into 30 double dumbbell deadlifts. We'd like you to grab your heavy ones today, okay? So, not light, heavy. I want you to put some challenge into those legs, okay? So if you would normally grab 15s and you got 20s, maybe not a bad thing to grab the 20s. If you normally have 20s and you got 25s, this would be a good one to grab the 25s. So our double dumbbell deadlift, dumbbells to ground, right? Got a good back position and I'm standing those up. Now you noticed here, I didn't hip hinge, right? Hip hinge puts our back into a bad position. A lot of times we're bent and then we're putting all that strain into the, into the lower back. I want to be down, looking ahead, not at my dumbbells, good back position, and standing up. My shoulders and my hips are raising at the same time, okay? This should be felt glutes, hamstrings, okay? So 30 of those, 30 double dumbbell deadlifts. Drop them down, you take off on your 200 meter run, you get back, you're on the ground, and we are here, hands reaching behind us because we're going in 30 alternating leg V-ups. So I'm driving my core into the ground, my legs are straight, and I'm exploding those reps out, okay, for 30 alternating reps, okay? Now, if that's too much, we can bend that knee if we have to but still thinking about trying to explode up the best we can. That way we're getting more into that core. Once you're done, stand up. You'll rest your two minutes. Look at that clock, repeat the work again. There's a lot of core reps there and heavy dumbbell deadlifts should have those back legs firing. That, that third run might not feel as pleasant after doing deadlifts, just as a heads up, okay? Good luck. Really push the pace because you get that rest. I really want you to think about pushing your pace and have fun with it outside. Don't wait too late in the day. It's going to be a hot one tomorrow.